Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a course on system.io or how to create a course for free using system.io. Once on system.io, all you'll need to do is enter your email address and you don't have to have a credit card or anything like that to sign up. And on their free plan, you'll also get numerous features for example, and by the way, did I say that their free plan will last forever? And you'll be able to add up to 2,000 contacts, send unlimited emails. You can also create three sales funnel with 15 funnel steps. And you can also add unlimited blog posts if you want. And you can create one course, which we will be doing in this tutorial. You can have unlimited students and you can also create one community and have unlimited community members so once you are signed up and you have verified your email address you will be redirected to a dashboard just like this once on the dashboard i want you to go over to the top right hand corner and you're going to hover over products and you're going to select courses after selecting courses, you will be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on add a new course in the top right hand corner. Then you can enter your course name. So let's say for example, I want to name this course YouTube. Then you could enter your instructor name. Then you can select your language. You can also add a description if you want. Then you will be provided with a free course domain, as you can see right there. Then you can add your URL path. So for example, you could type in one, two, three right there. You can also choose the theme that you want. I'll leave it at the default theme. But if you have a background color in mind that you like, you can select it right there. And if you also have a specific font that you would like to use, you can select the font that you would like to use right there. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do is tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once you have tapped on save, you're going to be redirected to this page and you're going to tap on the course name. Once you have tapped on the course name, you're going to tap on add module. So let's do that. So we are going to name this our first page. So I'll simply name it first, then tap on save. Then you're going to simply tap on the drop down right there and you're going to tap on add lecture. And this will be our first lecture so you can preview the template. There are two different templates you can choose from. This is the first one so it has a heading right there. Then by scrolling down, it has a video with some more instructions. So you can see it right there. If you want to use that layout, you could tap on select. If you would like to use this template instead, let us preview how it looks. So it starts off with a header, then an image. Then you can scroll down and you can see the instructions right there. We're going to be using the first template right here. So you're going to simply enter a name once more. So I can name this one one, then scroll down. You can see it right there, then tap on save. After you have tapped on save, you will now be able to edit it. To edit it, you're going to hover over the three dots. Then you're going to tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, you will be redirected to this page. And from here, you'll be able to create your first course module. So you can edit the text section right there. If you'd also like to add new text, you could go over to the left hand menu option, choose the element that you want, for example, text and drag and place it. You can also scroll down and to add your own video, all you'll need to do is tap on the current video. Then from there, if you have a video on YouTube that you would like to add, you could add the YouTube URL right there or you can tap right where you see direct link and you could choose to upload a video file if you want. And once you have done that, you can scroll down. Would you like it to autoplay? You could tap on on if you want. 
you can also edit the controls if you want you can customize the borders and so on if you want as you can see right there there are numerous editing options that you can do and you can scroll down and you can edit the entire page you can change each image and you can also change all of the text section so you can just use this as an outline and you can fill out your course right there once you're finished you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner then you're going to tap on the icon beside save and you're going to be redirected to this page now that you have done that all you'll need to do now if you would like to add something more for example if you would like to add a quiz after each module you can do that so you could tap on the three dots you could tap on quiz for this module then you could tap on add questions and you could type in your question right there and then you'll be able to type in the answers also so you could add a quiz and right after each module if you want but we won't be doing that I'm just showing you that that is an option that you can also do as I do found, find that better yet intriguing whenever I'm doing an online course and again you can also add another module by tapping on add module and then you could add your second module right here so I could type in second then tap on save and then after doing that you could tap on the module name then tap on add lecture after you have tapped on add lecture again you could add the template that you want to use so we could tap on select template then we are going to add in the name so let me type in the name right there then you'll scroll down and you're going to tap on save once more and once again you'll tap on the three dots and from there you could tap on edit to edit the changes after you have done that you could tap on the three dots at the top and you could also add a quiz for this module and if you would like to add even more modules you could tap on add modules right there now that your modules are live all you'll need to do is tap on activate for them to go live you can see right here and you could tap on confirm but before doing all of that what you will need to do I would recommend that you view it so you'll tap on view and from there you'll be able to see the lectures so you can see right there no lectures yet as we haven't activated anyone but this is how the layout will look as you can see right there so you can see it does look very professional you can see right there and they will tap on open and they'll be able to view it but all you'll need to do before getting started you'll tap on activate then tap on confirm now that I've done that if I were to tap on view once more you will now see that one is live as you can see right there you can see right there that's how it look but once you have done that you will need to set up your payment option unless you're offering a free course to add your payment options all you'll need to do you're going to go over to your profile pic right here and you will hover over it and you're going to tap on settings once you have tapped on settings you are going to tap on payment gateways from the left hand menu option and you'll be able to connect your stripe paypal and other payment options so that your customers or your potential customers will be able to pay using these payment methods and that's it once you're finished you'll be able to offer your course by simply tapping on courses right here then you could tap on the three dots you could tap on share then after tapping on share you'll be able to share your course url on whichever social media platform you plan on using it so to advertise you can do that you can also offer bundles if you want by tapping on bundles you could tap on create to create a bundle and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe